doctor, please help me. I was figure skating. Oh, God. And someone came up and just sliced my carotid artery. I lost so much blood. I think I was able to stop the bleeding, but I need a transfusion right now or I'm going to die. Oh, yes. Is something wrong? Oh, mm, looks serious. Well, I can tell you about blood if you need that. Yes, I need some blood. All right, well, if you must know, it all started in 1492 when Columbus did sail the ocean blue. However, Pope Innocent VIII was very ill indeed. Three men gave him blood transfusions. Unfortunately, all four men died. Then, from 1665 to 1829, blood transfusions were more or less forbidden in the European world. Animal transfusions were tried on a few occasions. However, it was not until 1829 when James Blundell, who we know is the father of modern blood transfusions, successfully transfused some human blood into a patient. From then on, we were able to advance our science of blood transfusions and our knowledge of blood. In 1900, the ABO blood groups were discovered, thus giving birth to a new field, immunohematology. Oh, no, no, no. So as we know, many genes come in more than two allelic forms, and blood groups happen to come in three. I, I have them right here. So first we have our allele big IA, then we have our allele big IB, and finally little i. Now with these three forms, we can have up to six possible genotypes and four possible blood phenotypes. Now what's very interesting is that big I B and big I A are both dominant over little i. However, big I B and big I A are co-dominant to each other. Let's take a closer look. So individuals that are big I A, big I A, or big I A, little i, are the blood type A. And they have A carbohydrates on the surface of their red blood cells. Individuals that are big I B, big I B, or big I B, little i, are type B. And they have B carbohydrates on the surface of their blood cells. You follow me so far. Now, individuals with big I A, big I B, are type A, B, and have both A and B carbohydrates on the surface of their blood cells. Cells, and individuals with little i, little i, are simply O and have no carbohydrates on the surface of their blood cells. Well, neither type A nor type B, to be precise. Okay, is there a real doctor here? I'm really dying. I'm really dying. Just a minute, I'm almost finished. Now, matching compatible blood groups is critical for blood transfusion because a person produces antibodies against foreign blood factor. If the donor's blood has A or B carbohydrates that are foreign to the recipient, this can cause some bad problems because molecules will bind to those foreign carbohydrates, causing the blood to come, thus killing the recipient. Ghastly stuff. There are not just red blood cells in your blood, there's also antibodies in your plasma that will fight against foreign factors. So, in A blood, we have our A antigens on the outside of our blood cell and anti-B antibodies in the plasma. These don't like the Bs. In our blood, we have type B antigens and anti-A antibodies. Now, in our AB, we have both A and B antigens, but no antibodies in the plasma against A or B. Now, in type O blood, we have no antigens on the outside, but plenty of type A, type B antibodies on the plasma. Now, this co-dominant pattern of inheritance comes from chromosome 9. But you've also probably heard of the RH factor. Now, this is on chromosome 1, and it will give you either the positive or the negative at the end of your blood type that you're so fond of saying. Now, there's actually some very complex genetics behind this RH factor, named for the Reese's monkey that they tested it on. Uh, but the pattern of inheritance is actually quite simple. You can either be positive or, or RH negative. Now, problems with this do arise when the mother, for example, has RH negative blood but is passing it along the placenta to her child who has RH positive blood. This is a very dangerous condition and it occurs most frequently in Europeans. But back to where we were. Right, so I think that's all I should tell you about blood for now. Was there anything else you needed to know? Oh, you need some blood. Oh. Oh, you're dying. Oh, you're dead.
that might be a problem. I'll see you later. Bye.